So this will be just a non light pack version of this cup. Just a little bit different variation from what we've done on the other cup tutorials. So we are going to epoxy method and then glitter this before we do anything else. I've got some epoxy mixed up and we're just gonna go super duper slow. Nice and um, not so thick that it's falling off, but not so thin that this won't hold on very well. I like to do, why is this not focusing? I like to do a nice thick layer, probably about five milliliters, maybe a teensy bit more on this type of cup for chunky. It allows it to lay down nice and flat and you don't have to worry about as much sanding and wild hairs. This particular turner is a little slower than I'm used to, so it's going to allow a little bit more time to kind of spread that out. I'm using Liquidy Split right now because I just coated another cup and I was like, oh, I'll go ahead and start this one. So you have kind of a limited work time with Liquidy Split, but it's so convenient because I can come out here and do the next step of this process in roughly two hours. It's very, very convenient. I'll post a link for the turner and for the um, Liquidy Split. You can go straight to their website. They have free shipping all the time. I do have a code, uh, TPS, on ksresin.com. TPS will get you a 5% discount. But this turner, I just got it maybe a week ago. It was super easy to put together just a little slower than I'm used to. It's got a nice beefy motor for sure. So I'm just going to continue doing this. I want to make sure I don't have it on here too thick, but definitely not too thin. I don't want to squeegee it on there like you would if you were doing fine glitter, but I don't want it lumpy and sticking up. Especially since I have a limited work time, I'm already kind of several minutes into that work time already. All right, so we've got that on there. You want to make sure that you don't have any bald spots. So as it's rotating and before you start the next step, just make sure that there's no areas that need a little attention. Mm -hmm. On the bottom especially right here it tends to pull away from here and here so then we're just going to just generously pour this on here normally I go a little space at a time but this one turns slow enough that I can do it this way when it's not contaminated on the in the glitter like there's not another glitter that fell off or whatnot we're gonna pour all this back. This is actually the fifth cup that I've co coated in this particular color. And this jar is well over halfway full. It would be a lot fuller if I wasn't spilling it all the time. I probably have a good tablespoon of this glitter on my table right now. Oopsie. So there's a couple of different ways you can do the bottom. This particular arm does not come off. So I got a couple of methods that I have done in the past. You can do it like this and kind of lean it over. Just watch how you're going to spill everything and kind of dump it this way. And just hope that it lands on there, but that's not as effective in this particular setup. So I'm going to use my handy dandy Cricut spatula and kind of chunk it on there just like that. And it'll stick, which is nice. On the cups that I have on removable arms, I tilt it, or I take it off and then tilt it over. But that's not possible on this particular one. I may modify this at some point but right now it still works for what I need it to work for. So just kind of make sure I don't have any bald spots and I do. It 
Yep. And now just watch kind of as it's coming around. Make sure I didn't miss any spots anywhere. Top, sides, whatever. After this cures, I'll spray it with clear coat, just Rust-Oleum. And um, epoxy over that. Chunky glitter tends to repel epoxy pretty good. So there have been times that I forgot to do that and it just took a little bit more persuasion to get the um, coverage that I needed for sure. Yeah, so that's that. I'm gonna come back to this in just a little bit and pat all these spots down that it's kind of sticking up, especially around the rim right here. We'll kind of pat that away there. But I don't want to do that right now because I don't want anything falling off that might have epoxy stuck to it. Because I don't want it ended up in my jar. It's not the end of the world if it does. It's just a little bit of a bigger chunk that you have to deal with later on. And then we're going to put all of this back in. This is just parchment paper. It's those Reynolds wrap pop-up. And we'll just literally it back in just like that it's so satisfying watching that just pour right in there like a little waterfall yeah that's pretty good got a little bit left on the paper that i'll get off in a minute but i have coated this like i said this is my fifth 20 ounce cup to coat and it's this full that's well over halfway right there love it i love how this particular three size mix gets you full coverage. This does have a little bit more fine in it than what a lot of the other mixes I have have in them. And that really fills in those gaps nicely. So we'll come back to that in just a minute and pat it down, like I said. We are ready for the first layer of epoxy. I'm gonna do nice and thick so that hopefully I don't have to do uh, more than one coat before I'm ready to lay my vinyl. Since this is pretty flat, I shouldn't really have to deal much with um, sanding. So I've got 20 mixed up. Something stuck. And let's just get it going. This one, like I said earlier, is going to have vinyl lights. I think I said that earlier. I'm going to do silver paint pen and vinyl bulbs. And then I'll use the same decal as I'm using on my one that has the actual lights on it. It says Christmas lights are my favorite color. You probably saw that already in the thumbnail. I'm really excited about it. It is today, as of this specific part of the recording, is October 18th. And I'm already listening to Christmas music and I don't even feel a little bit bad about it. When I was working on cups the other day, I was totally watching uh, Halloween movies. Hocus Pocus, Nightmare, all that good stuff. Uh, but I don't, now that I've done my obligatory Halloween uh, media, so to speak, I don't even feel a little bit guilty. So I'm going to just finish coating this and then we're going to let it cure and I'll see how smooth it is before we decide if we can do the vinyl or not. This turned out pretty smooth. Not perfect, there's a few little wild hairs sticking up here and there. Kinda hear that there. Um, overall though, it's really good. So what I'll do is just sand down those few little spots, wash it, and then we'll get started. I'll just kinda go after it like that. Nothing too crazy just to get that little clump off of there. And then um, we'll get the paint pen and all that and get started on that uh, after I wash this. But overall, I'm glad it turned out so smooth because now I don't have to do that extra layer. Plus sanding this will um, allow the vinyl to grip a little bit better. But I'll take it off, take it inside, and wash it. 
This is the paint pen we're about to use. It's the oil-based one that I used in the other uh, video. Just Sharpie. I got it from Hobby Lobby. I've got my decal here. Same decal as I used on my other cup. I love it. It's just a Cricut brand uh, holographic vinyl. And then I've got a bunch of Christmas light shapes. You can kind of see them cut out there. And we'll do those in a little bit. We've got all those colors. And since we're kind of freehanding this, you can do whatever makes you happy. Go loopy, go solid, whatever. I'll clean that up with alcohol in a minute. Just kind of whatever. All over the cup. like that. I went ahead and fixed that first loop that I did. It wasn't that great. It was really small compared to the other loops. I literally just had a little piece of paper towel over here with uh, alcohol on it, just saturated. Just cleaned it right up. So just freehand it, whatever you want. But before I lay down stickers on here, I'm going to let this dry and then I'm going to lay my decal. I've got one spot that's extra smooth. Just gonna go right there in the middle and then we'll do the stickers all around it for the lights. Um, like I did on my other one, I may put some kind of poking through the letters. We'll see. We'll see how it lays out. But first, I'm gonna make sure this paint is thoroughly dry. Got this on my transfer paper already, as you already noticed, I'm sure. So I'm just going to eyeball. This is my smoothest part of my cup. So I'm going to eyeball center and straight. The way I like to do mine is kind of do down the middle and then work your way over. I know my voice sounds kind of funny right this minute. My allergies just flared up so hard. So I apologize um, for sounding funny. It's so hard not to sniffle just randomly. Okay, so there's that. And carefully lift your transfer tape. I've gotten in a hurry and impatient in the past and completely pulled up my uh, vinyl in the past trying to pull this up so fast. Da -da -da. It's a little bit crooked. I'm not distraught. It's really not all that noticeable unless you're really, really looking hard. So now is the fun part and the creative part and probably the most time consuming part. Now we're gonna put our little stickers on. I wanna start at the beginning here. Just like that. And I'm just gonna alternate colors. I'm just gonna leave them in order on my counter here. And just pick them up like that. flip-flop. I'm not going to be too stressed out about spacing because, I mean, who's going to actually get a ruler and check that? Just get it decently close. If it's really far off, it'll be obvious and maybe kind of look funny. This one's going to go on the inside, kind of at an angle there. Okay, so we've got blue, yellow, red. Let's do green. And I'm just going to go all the way around. When I get to the part with my vinyl, that's where I'll figure out how I want to place all of that and uh, how I want to finagle it. 
here's what it looks like right there so what I did on the spots with the letters is I just carefully cut around it I put the sticker on there and then pressed really hard and then used just really slowly used my exacto knife to kind of go right where I was looking at the raised area from what was underneath it I only had to do that there there and there I strategically placed that one to start there and then uh, that one there so I'm gonna let this sit and I'll throw a clear coat of spray paint over it and then we'll start on epoxy if I was going to try and do epoxy right away, I would go ahead and uh, do UV resin over this so that I would not have any kind of lift whatsoever. But I'm not going to get to it right away, so I'm going to let it sit and kind of bond pretty good. Yay! It's got epoxy on it. I am about to torch it to get these little micro bubbles out of here and then it's done. I don't know what's up right here. I've got like a ghost swirl line or something. That's not even the place I had to redo that one is. It's weird. Nowhere else on the cup did it except for right there. Who knows? So that's it. Get out there. Make you one. No two will be alike. It's pretty fun. I'm excited. If I don't carry the other one that I made that is lit up, I'll definitely carry this one. But I have a feeling my coworker is going to dibs it. We'll see. So if you have any questions, don't hesitate to leave it in the comments. The decal I bought off of Etsy, I'll put it in the link. I mentioned earlier that it was crooked. It's only off by like maybe a millimeter. It's a little high on that side, but it's so close that literally you have to measure it to see it. The vinyl that I use for the lights, they are 651, just from the pack that I got um, with my silhouette kit, and also maybe some that I bought from Michaels. The pen that I used for um, the cord, I just got it at Hobby Lobby. It's a Sharpie oil-based pen, paint pen base glitter is Pascal from Friends. I'll put a link to get a $5 coupon in the comment or in the description. And I think that's it. If you like my videos, please consider subscribing. Have a good one.